Loving, lying enemy. I've seen your face before. Never thought. My name is Raquel Jacobs. In 2012, I founded Beyond the Classroom Foundation. The aim of Beyond the Classroom is to improve public primary education in Africa. What we do basically is provide school supplies annually for selected schools, public primary schools to be precise. And we organize teacher training because we realize that their teachers need some form of training as most of them are, don't have the necessary skills to teach the children. We also replace their blackboards with whiteboards. We organize Christmas parties, graduation ceremonies every July, World Oral Health Day, Malaria Day, and different activities that we run with them. It could be weekly after school clubs, ranging from readers club and writers club, just to help them enjoy teaching beyond the powers of their classroom. Sometime around March 2011, I was going to school. I was in the University of Lagos then, in 200 level to be precise. I, I saw a boy who, I always call the boy who started it all. He was going to the primary school next to the University of Lagos and he had torn socks and his sandals were the other way around and he was going to school, he wasn't in a hurry. But when I got to his school, they were beating the kids because they had no socks and I negotiated with the teacher to let them go and promised to bring socks the week after. The truth about it is I had no money to buy socks but a miracle happened and the Monday after that Thursday I came with socks for a thousand children and that's how I stumbled on public primary education and the things that are happening in the system. I would say the boy inspired me because giving them the school socks and everything I noticed that the kids were really really excited. They were started shouting oh thank you auntie god bless you and you go come back again and I foolishly said yes I will come back again knowing that I had no money to take care of them or buy socks. And from then on, I came back again and again. So we evolved from just giving school socks to giving school books, school bags. We took initiative to also train the teachers and do exciting things to keep them in the classroom. So one of the things we're doing here in the classroom is the weekly after-school program. So we have volunteers who come every week to teach the children literacy. Could be reading, could be writing, could be math, it could be health, could be manual war or literary and debating. And so we do this weekly and it gets the children excited and the teachers have told us over and over again that the kids even prefer our classes to ruin their classes. Over the last four years we've worked with five schools and so annually we select the school, work with the school and then um, we select another school. But then we've noticed that we needed to expand, we needed to get more children, we needed more children to get school supplies, we needed more teachers to be trained. If we say that we're trying to reach schools across Africa then we have to kill up and so what we did was we started up the Afri Aspire program where we want fellows to adopt a school and they run projects annually like we've done in Bariga and in Suwilere in the last four years and right now we have 10 fellows who each have selected the school and the fellows are spread across six southwestern states in Nigeria. Part of the activities of the fellows we include provision of free school supplies to the selected schools, teacher training, volunteer training because they'll be working with a lot of volunteers. They'll be organizing a weekly computer literacy program across the 10 schools sponsored by Microsoft Nigeria. They will organize World Oral Health Day next year. They will organize Global Week, Money Week for the children to um, teach them how to save early. And also they will organize World Malaria Day next year. They will replace the blackboard in the school with whiteboards. The fellows will also organize Christmas party across 10 schools. They will produce comics where children can use to learn beyond the four walls of their classroom, like what we say. And they will also organize the graduation for the primary six going to just one. We'll focus this year really more on mentoring, where we're hoping to match some employers with companies with our children, especially the older children, to mentor them through to when they get to just one. One word I can use to describe my fellowship experience would be amazing. The people that I've met during the fellowship year have helped my project and they've volunteered their time even as I've volunteered with them. They've, they've gone all out for me. The training was impactful. It was timely in Kilip Africa for this opportunity. For me, it has given me hope to know that in the next few years, we can change the face of public primary education in Africa. A place you can turn.